Hey guys, welcome to another Helix video. Uh, this is a fun one. Line 6 just released the new 2.1 firmware for Helix. Uh, so uh, I wanted to kind of play around with some of the new toys on here they've, they've uh, made available. Um, <clears throat> I'm a little under the weather today, so I apologize for my voice. I try to play more and talk less, but um, I was excited about this update, so I want to go ahead and do a little something with it. Uh, one of the things that really caught my eye was this Line 6 original, uh, which uh, is, is basically a Dumble clone. Um, I've really wanted that Dumble sound for a long time, being, being a longtime Stevie Ray fan. Uh, that was always kind of that iconic Stevie Ray sound. You always saw the Dumbles on stage. We had a lot of different amps he used, but <clears throat> for many folks, you know, a Dumble is, is the holy grail. Um, so anyway, so that was exciting. Uh, there's uh, also, uh, which slot to put in, I think I put it here, Boss uh, Super Overdrive they've added. Also, there's a uh, Pitch Echo that they've added. So I definitely want to incorporate uh, you know, as much as I could of the new stuff. <clears throat> so I'll probably do more videos. There's some other amps that have been added, some PRS, a PRS amp, and uh, some other features that are really cool. But... Uh, this was just kind of a quick way to, to uh, go ahead and play around with some of the new stuff. If anybody has <clears throat> previously uh, downloaded my uh, patch based on a match list, this signal chain will look pretty familiar to you. Basically, I took that patch uh, and just trimmed some things out that uh, I wasn't going to use for this. Um, so actually, the cabinet, I'll show you what's going on. It's the same cabinet setup. It's the 2x12 Dr. Z and a 4x12 Greenback, um, both using 120, well, sorry, 67 condenser here, and I believe a 121, yeah. Ribbon mic there. Uh, this is just really my go-to cabinet setup. Um, <clears throat> as you can see here, basically, I pulled up the amp model. I haven't touched anything, deliberately. I just, everything is pretty much on five. Uh, presence is turned down. And uh, the channel volume's, you know, up a little bit. The ripple is down a little bit. This is exactly uh, exactly how it came when I pulled up the amp model. These are the settings. I didn't touch it. So uh, I'm just going to gonna play a little bit uh, just to let you hear what really is kind of as uh, authentic or neutral, I guess, maybe is a better way to say it. Uh, that this amp, this is, you know, basically all the dials straight up and down. So... This is a, a kind of a true example of what this amp sounds like. It's very responsive, I think. Uh, really, really punchy and, and uh, responds to touch very well. So this is basically the amp, the cab, and I've got just a little bit of reverb, uh, room reverb. So uh, just play a couple licks here and uh, see what you think. <laughs> So it's got that kind of, um, of course, I had to start with some Stevie Ray. It's kind of got that signature punchy uh, mid-gain, you know, just a slight edge of breakup kind of thing. Um, if you roll the volume knob back, it, it responds well to that, too. I'll let you hear how that sounds. So this is the volume knob. Oh, sorry. Bump the mic stand. This is the volume knob about halfway. <laughs> This thing here does respond well, cleans up nicely. Um, you roll the volume up, you get a little bit of that slight edge of breakup and the punchiness comes back a little bit. Um, true to Stevie Ray form, let me throw a tube screamer on here and uh, <clears throat> just give you a quick example of what that sounds like. I think it, it really nails that you know, little slightly more push Stevie Ray of sound. So anyway, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
So just a little bit more gain, but um, typical tube screamer, that little mid-range hump there that it adds. <laughs> so really right out of the gate, um, literally touching no knobs on the virtual amp model virtual knobs you know i think it just pretty well nails uh that stevie ray sound um so uh i, I will say I, I do leave kind of leave a compressor on i forgot to mention that earlier uh that i just kind of leave on and on my patches but uh typically not all but most anyway so that's the whole kind of stevie ray dumble thing uh which i think it does quite well so let's um, listen to a couple other new things that they've got going on. This is the Super Overdrive again. Everything uh, fives, just kind of right down the middle. I'm going to flip over to a more of a humbucker sound. Um, but it really drives this dumble to a nice kind of crunch, classic rock kind of sound, I think. So here we go. <laughs> Sorry, I watched uh, Days and Confused last night on Netflix for the first time in a while, so I had some uh, little fog hat going through my mind. But um, you can hear it's you know it's a nice uh, again everything's just on five the amp the pedal it's it's all just right down the middle neutral, uh, but it has just a good you know nice crunch uh, with a with a humbucker sound. Um, I think it's you know a great rhythm tone uh, and, and a pretty good lead tone. Uh, you can stack it with a tube screamer uh, if you want to add a little more uh, bite to it. <laughs> So that's another cool option if you if you want to do some lead stuff but um another great uh, distortion option there for uh for helix uh the other new one is the pitch echo um so i'm, I'm just kind of uh there's a lot of a lot of stuff you can do with this one obviously uh essentially uh it lets you pick the interval which is where the note's going so i've got it going down minus two which i think is a whole step um I haven't looked to see the release notes to see exactly how that works, but I'm assuming that it's in increments of half steps. But um, so you can set it if you want to go up or down. Um, let me just turn on it. And I've got it set for like a, a pretty quick uh, 99 milliseconds. So I just have this when I was playing around with it. Uh, this is just the first thing that kind of came to mind to do with it. But there's there's a lot you can do. Um, so what it what it's going to do... You can hear it's going down. So I have the feedback all the way down, so it sounds like just one note. If I turn the feedback up, you know, it goes on a little bit longer. But I, well, I was playing around with it. I thought it was kind of fun. I just had the feedback off, and it go down. So it sounds like <clears throat> if, if you play some descending stuff anyway, it's kind of cool. It's almost like having a second uh well, it feels almost like having a second player behind you, but this is kind of the vibe I was getting from it. <clears throat> so it's kind of cool. You can throw in a delay behind it uh, to kind of fill it out a little bit more, too. Kind of gives you that cool falling down a cliff or going down some stairs feeling. I don't, I'm not sure exactly how to describe that sound, but <laughs> it was kind of fun. But there's there's a lot of, of different stuff. If I was to bump this up, uh, whoops, wrong knob. Get that back zeroed out. Um, if you were to bump this up to, it would give you the opposite effect. 
You know, so lot of, you know that's just one way to use it. You can spread the uh, <clears throat> the time out too if you don't want it to be just like I've almost got it almost like a slap back where it's just immediately slapping that note back. Um, but I thought it was kind of fun. Like if I'm if you're playing a kind of a lead line, you can throw this in and to a descending run to kind of give it a different sound. It's, so it'd be something like something like this. You know, <clears throat> definitely not something you're going to use every day, but kind of a neat effect. And that's just kind of scratching the surface of, of what that one does. But um, anyway, this is just a real off the cuff uh, <clears throat> kind of play around with, with the new amp model. I haven't even touched the PRS models yet, uh, which I'm anxious to do. Uh, so I may do a video of that as well. But um, it's just a really fun, responsive amp model. Uh, I'm glad Line 6 went excuse me, with, um, some of the, some of the more boutique stuff, uh, that just happens to be kind of the style I like, so I'm happy. <laughs> the high gain guys might have been a little disappointed, but, uh, this definitely is more in the wheelhouse of where I, where I like to spend my time. Uh, so thank you, Line 6. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm just going to, uh, play around a little bit, play it out, uh, and, uh, flip around some of the effects. You'll find a link to this patch in the description. Uh, feel free to download it and, uh, of course, tweak it to uh, fit what your needs are. And, uh, you know, I have some stuff kind of left over from my other patch. That's why there's like four distortion pedals and <laughs> some different stuff. You may not need all that, so you, you're well, you know, make it your own. If, if you like the general uh, space this patch covers, you know, make it your own. But anyway, just I'll play around a little bit. And uh, thanks for checking it out. Fun stuff, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you next time.